Welcome to Electron Online and here our next video is on the solution process, the process of going from a solvent and a solute to a solution. And the definition is the process of dissolving is a process involving the breaking and making of bonds. What, what typically happens is you have a solvent and even though the solvent may be liquid, the molecules stick together either through hydrogen bonding or the van der Waals forces so they stay close together. But when you start mixing two uh, components together, you need to make room in the solvent to stick those components in them so that they're intermingled like that. And so that requires the breaking of those intermolecular bonds of the hydrogen bonds or the van der Waals forces. And at the same time on the solute, let's say the solute is a, is a crystalline structure, a solid structure, you have to break those bonds in the solid structure to turn it into a liquid form or in a gaseous form. You sometimes we think of it as turning it into a gaseous form, even though it's not really a gas. And so that also requires energy and then they intermix and usually when they intermix they get an energy benefit from that so that there's usually an energy release from that process because they're in a lower energy state when they're mixed together than them when they are separate. So we can think of that as having the enthalpy of uh, enthalpy 1 as the breaking the solvent making the molecules farther apart enthalpy change 2 will therefore be a breaking up the solute bringing the molecules farther apart and then enthalpy 3 tends to be uh, where you bring the two together and get your energy release back so normally the enthalpy change for 1 and enthalpy change for 2 where you take the solvent and the solute and you pull the molecules further apart those tend to be what we call endothermic they require energy so you need to have an energy input in order to do that to break them apart because you have to overcome those molecular bond bonds excuse me and then when you bring them back together that process the enthalpy of bringing them back together at that point making new bonds tends to be exothermic tends to release energy and normally the amount of energy you get back is higher than the energy you require to pull them apart. Not always, but usually that is the case. So the enthalpy of solution, the energy change of the solution is simply going to be a sum of the three enthalpy changes. And of course, if delta H3 is bigger in absolute value, it's a bigger number than some of those two, then as a whole, it will be an exothermic reaction. If delta H3, the enthalpy change of bringing the two components together and mixing them, is smaller than the two here required to pull them apart from their initial constituents, then of course it's an end up endothermic process and then energy needs to get put into it. Usually, when that happens, that can be done by the thermal energy in the solution so that you end up with a solution that is colder in the end than what you started because you needed that extra energy to come from somewhere and so that may happen. It may also come from stirring. A lot of uh, strong stirring action may provide the kinetic energy, the energy to make the mixture take place, the solution take place. And so that's what we call the solution process. So understanding that, the very simple components of that, helps us understand it in a broader sense. So this is some of the basics of what you need to know about solutions before you can go on and really begin to work out those problems.